We're having to get used to energy bills going up. As the big suppliers put up their prices, the government's just done a deal, assuming energy costs will double over the next 10 years. David Cameron was sealing that deal in Somerset today, visiting Hinkley Point B nuclear power station, announcing that work should start soon on Hinkley Point C. It's going to provide good, long-term, well-paid, high-tech jobs for our future, but it's also going to provide low-carbon, reliable, safe, secure energy supplies long into the future. The French company EDF and its investors will spend £16 billion to build the new power station. When it's up and running in 2023, it's supposed to generate enough power for nearly 6 million homes, about 7% of the country's total energy needs. Britain used to build its own it nuclear power stations. But I now open Calder Hall, Britain's first atomic power station. Today, we need the French to do it with Chinese investors, and this is what they think it will look like. And to make it worth their while, the government has guaranteed to pay double the current wholesale energy price when it starts producing electricity. At this company, where they find the best deals for consumers, they're unimpressed. It's a worrying deal for consumers because it's, the price is just so high. It's double the current cost of wholesale electricity. What that seems to show is a government I'm really saying today, bills are going to double over the next 10 years. And now that would mean bills close to £3,000 a year for a home. An absolutely shocking amount. So alongside the French bosses of EDF, a question for the minister in charge. Haven't you just locked us all into paying higher prices into the future? We don't want to expose the British economy long term to having to rely on gas, not least because we're having to import more and more gas. So this mixed, diverse approach, not putting all your eggs in one basket, is the right approach to make sure that we keep uh, prices down for consumers in the future. Nuclear power is back. The government believes signing up for it now will help consumers in the long run. But it will be a decade before we know if they're right. Andy Bell, 5 News.